Okay, this is an extension of our unit on colonies. This is the second group of fifth graders. This is the uh, notebook software that I gave them an overview of this project. So here's our standards. Being creative, collaborating, using digital citizenship. Uh, so they're imagining that they're colonists. So they had three different jobs, builders, craftsmen, and farmers. And I went over what each job should be responsible for doing. Craftsmen are the ones making tools, fences to give to others. Farmers are responsible for planting and herding animals. These are our rules of Minecraft. Number five is a big one, don't destroy or attack others. Also wanted to reinforce 21st century skills through playing Minecraft. And then I gave them a couple of examples of how a colony was organized in the 1700s. So I showed students a couple of pictures to give them a point of reference, and then we watched the movie today. We switched from survival mode the first two days, which was causing a lot of griefing, a lot of people stealing, more worried about killing and eating rather than building, and then the last two days I switched to creative mode so they could have unlimited inventory. So I'm going to give myself the ability to fly so we can go over and check on their progress. So as we fly over the colonies, we can see that someone's starting a house. There's our beacon off in the distance, so that's my point of reference of where we start. We talked about building a ship dock. Also talked about how colonies were built in a circle around the main meeting house. Uh, when students were using the mods, I was making sure that they were only using materials that existed in the 1700s, so no electric light. Everything had to be a gas lantern. So we're going to take a look inside of some of these buildings and see how they look. So here we have doors. Okay, let's look through this building. I told students to make sure they put some signs up. So here's a ladder. It looks like it goes down to another floor. There's another floor. We're going to keep searching. So if we come down here, we can look at the sign that was written over here. This is the school. So we're starting to decorate the one-room schoolhouse, making sure they had torches. There's a building on top. Ye old sleeping quarters, so making sure they had beds. Looks like there's chests with materials. So students are trying to recreate the whole aspect of a colonial village. I talked about how roofs were not flat because you wanted to make sure that snow didn't accumulate on top. So if we look down here, we can see some beds, living quarters. I'm hoping to see a farm somewhere. I made sure that they put signs out so you can see everything. So here's our shop. So we'll check in towards the end of class and see how progress is doing. Okay, we're checking on our progress of our colonists in fifth grade. This is their last day. We're in about the last 10 minutes of class. We talked about having a port near water so ships can come and go for trade routes. So someone's working on that. Uh, we should see here. See what this structure is. This is the school. So we're going to look inside the school. So here you can see we have some artwork. We have student desks with candlelight, which looks very authentic, nicely done. So as we look further, here's another structure. I'll look in here, scoot down. This looks like a barn for animals. I turned animals off right now because they were getting distracted by the horses. But I can turn that on a little bit. Here's another pen for animals. Ah, we 
we see some people working on farms over here. It's looking good. So our colony is starting to develop. I'm still looking for where the town hall is because we talked about every colonist had every colony had a central hall where all the meetings took place. This looks like the meeting hall. So I'll continue to check on everybody's progress. We'll do one more check-in before the end of class. It looks like our colonists are on their way. Okay, our fifth graders just left for the day and our week has finished. So I'm just going to sort of fly around and see how their progress went on their colony. This is the spawn point. This is the only artificial light that I gave them. This is the information block that helps them get started. And when this world began, there was nothing but flat grass and just a couple of early structures. So all this was done in the week's time. When students were in survival mode, they were more focused on getting food and shelter. And then I turned that off and gave them creative mode, which opened up some mods like Bibliocraft so they could start decorating their colony with authentic light sources. We talked about that there was no electricity. I'm going to look for the common uh, house because we talked about how colonies usually circled around the main meeting hall. So this looks like the school. So we have some desks. We have the teacher's desk. They did a really nice job with decorating this in a very authentic way. We've got some pictures on the walls. Looks good. We can see some of the other structures here. Uh, the farming area is out here, off in the distance. Let's go through this building, take a look. So this is where we kept the horses. I turned the animals off because kids wanted to just get on the horses. So I turned that off so they could be easier for them to focus on what to build. And then if we look out here, here is the pen for the animals. They have two. We've got a little farm started. We talked about that. This looks like the storage building for their farm. I'm not sure if there's a sign on this building or not, but we'll take a look inside. So not much yet, but it looks like the beginning of a storage building for their farming supplies. As we look further here, that's a really nice entrance that they've got. So this looks like the town meeting hall. Uh, that was the barn for the animals. Beginnings of villages. We have authentic light sources, which looks good. Uh, all these cobblestone paths were new. So if we look in this building, this was your town hall talked about how we had meetings and that's where the colonists gathered to make decisions. This is the bottom floor. So they did a really good job. They were learning how to make an authentic colony. And then at the end of class, the last 10 minutes, they had to go online and then complete these questions. What was your job? How did you do your job as a colonist? What was the hardest part of being a colonist? What did you learn about being a colonist? How did you work together? advocating for digital citizenship. I wanted them to give me a rank of what they thought of this project and then give me some ideas for other projects. A lot of their feedback was based on medieval times and uh, recreating different time periods in history like the Wild West or Native American cliff dwellings. So overall it was a really good project.